Hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models. Welcome back to my channel. Um, before we go any further, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to all my subscribers. Um, and if you're just dropping by, uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, we try and grow the channel. And thank you very much for dropping in. Um, as you know, we're painting up this uh, space Ma space marine reaver, and uh, I'm doing it in the Blood Angels um, style and I think it's called Grimdark so it's a sort of old sort of worn and battered type of look but anyway enough enough waffle um, let's get over to the bench and see where we've done where we've done what we've done I don't know what I was talking about in that intro I really don't but anyway here we are this is what we're up, up to um so the color of the figure that i've, I've chosen is, is as i say a blood angel um as i tried to explain in the last episode it's like um this fantasy world thing so i've, I've painted it up with the mephiston red and um what i've done is i've, I've <laughs> um i've watered this down thinned it down that's the word I was looking for um, and then what I've done with the paint is is actually applied it with a series of thin washes um, and what I wanted to do because I've done the, the sort of black primer on it was to sort of give it almost like a worn a worn out look rather than a you know pristine parade uniform if you like so so the first thing we've done is is gone round um, I think if I remember rightly, there were a few few things in the last episode where we needed to go in and, and do a little bit more more sanding and seam dealing. Um, well, we've done all of that, but I wanted to get a really sort of beaten up look to the uniform. Um, the sort of, almost like war damage, if you like. Um, so that's what we've done. So we've all, all of the sort of red parts are done. Um, the heads got a bit of red on the side parts these these sort of parts here uh, and then we'll get into painting the the head I have to do that with a brush I think um, the weapons um, did this with a gunmetal grey um, and then we'll go over this and then start building up on the colors same with the knife um, we started with a, a gunmetal grey to start with and then we go around and start detailing up um, with the legs and arms uh, we've got the various joints um, this sort of construction that's going to be darkened and, and sort of given a, a, a sort of gray color uh, and we'll go in and we'll we'll paint in all this detail as well um, and get that all done and then the pouches and the belts I think are going to be the pouches will be a sort of a, a brown maybe a leather effect something like that and the same with with this this part here um i, th I think I, i'm in two minds with this i was thinking of doing this this red um and this this part here sort of red but i'm not sure i might do the whole lot in a in a sort of leather effect and then then do these these areas here in 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 uh, black but then when I was thinking about it, I thought, well, when this goes together, it'll look like it'll have, <laughs> with the torso, it looked like it'll have sort of a, a sort of leather pair of pants on. Um, so I might might come back and do this, do these straps and this sort of cod piece um, and the groin area here in red and the same in here. I might get in and do do that in, in a sort of red colour, just to, just to give it that sort of difference in in, in colors and, and that um, the hands well the gloves I've, I've given those a coat of red but obviously the inside here I think will be in a, in a, in a sort of black gray color um, there to sort of because it's it's a sort of glove so we'll come back and do those so I'll get off and do those bits and then I'll come back to you so now we've got all the all the sort of basic colors in place um, you know with all the, the sort of joins have been done and the straps have been done in basic colors um, and I've used uh, the um, 
Vallejo um, black grey for all of that um, so the next the next thing to do is to start putting it all together and then working on the detail painting and the, and the weathering as a whole rather than doing them separately so I'm going to start putting this together and come back seeing what it looks like when it's assembled well there he is all, all assembled um, apart from the jetpack or whatever that is and <coughs> the weapons um, but yeah he's all together I've obviously got to do his head um, there's a lot of a lot of painting to do there but I've, I've already given this sort of sides sides of it um, a sort of coat of the of the red um, and and it's all all sort of getting there um, yeah <laughs> this, this is <laughs> this has been uh, actually quite a good bit of fun um, yeah so now now I've got to go in and start doing some of the detail stuff some of the sort of more weathering and things like pick up the the logo there on the front or the the skull and cross knives or whatever um, the sheath as well that's that's got to be painted I'm not sure what color I'm going to go with that at the moment um, the packs have all been done in the same grey um, and then they've got to be they've got to have some sort of weathering on them and you know a little bit of that uh, and then also I've got to go over it this 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 edge here um, that's got to be painted I think that I'll do that in black um, because that's almost to do with with this sort of uh, regimental markings or, or what is it they call it their chapter markings um, I've also got a couple of a logo that I want to put on there and also I have seen some of these where they've actually got a, a sort of skull emblem on one of the knees which I thought was quite cool um, but yeah so there's all of that to do and then obviously I've got to do more with the with the weapons that they've got to be painted but yeah it's gone back together quite easily so i'm quite pleased with that um and then as i say just doing the detail so i'll get on with some more of that and i'll come back to you in a minute so the um the first stage really of some of this weathering <coughs> is is to got a little bit of a uh, bit of black paint there in in the in the palette uh, a little bit of sponge in a pair of these tweezers these ones that stay closed um, it's really good for holding it so just like dip it in the dip the sponge in the black paint and it, it's very very similar process if you like to um, dry brushing to so take a lot of the surplus off of the sponge until it's down to a level that seems to be okay you don't want lots and lots and lots um, and then if I just have a, have a look at this uh, and then basically go over it um, and just dab on the sponge it'll give you some random also like you know like chipping effects um, so do that um, and get a bit of wear and weathering on there and uh, done that on that uh, and, and a bit around the the body done that um, just painted the the skull on the front there and got to do a bit more weathering to that as well and and once once this is you know this I'll give that a chance for, for that to dry um, and then I'll go in with um, probably a silver <coughs> on some of the the chipping marks and just very very small dabs of silver in there just just to give the impression that it's 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 worn through the red it's worn through the black it's got down to the base metal if you like um, so I'll get on and do that that's pretty much where we are at at the moment and uh, I'll get this video uploaded and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one I've um, got, got some interesting updates on the next one which is which is around the head 
sort of done done the head, got that sort of basically painted. But we'll look at that in more detail in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.